All right, uh, Seton, what's the poll question we're going to go with, at least the first hour of the program? If you were the Chiefs, Dan, mm-hmm. would you make a uh, competitive offer to keep Chris Jones, mm-hmm. or would you let him go? Well, what's competitive? Because if I'm Chris Jones, I had to suppress my ego and take your one-year deal, and then I went out and proved once again I'm one of the more impactful defensive players in the sport. Are you going to pay me Aaron Donald money? Are you going to pay me Joey or Nick Bosa money? Nick Bosa is the highest paid defensive player. And if you're Chris Jones, he's looking at the other sidelines going, that guy is making more than I am, and I am impacting this game. Yes, he- Especially when you're watching Nick Bosa in some of those highlights where he's running the wrong way of Patrick Mahomes, who's cutting up the field for 15 yards. You're like, uh... But we saw this with Tyreek Hill, although they traded Tyreek Hill to the Dolphins. They didn't want to pay him $30 million. But with Chris Jones, his value there, like it feels like Patrick Mahomes can make up for some blemishes on offense. It's hard to make up for the loss of Chris Jones on defense. And that defense turned out to be the reason why they won this Super Bowl. But... Am I going to pay $30 million? I think he's 28 years of age. But if you're Chris Jones. 29. 29? Yeah. You're, you're right there with the Hall of Fame career. You're probably already there. With three Super Bowls, you've been impactful in all of those games. And do you want to go get the bag? And that's probably what's going to happen. You know, the commanders or somebody like that will go, here you go. We're going to pay you that kind of money you got to go to some place that's got cap room there. Is he going to give a home discount? Which the only report I saw was that was not going to happen. That he's he's going to say, hey, you want me to take less? I gave you more, and you want me to take less so I can stay here in Kansas City. He's If he hadn't won a Super Bowl, then I understand, okay, I'll take less. I want to be part of something special. I don't know if he says, you know what? I still want to be part of something special. Maybe we, we get a three-peat. Then I'll have four Super Bowls. Then it's undeniable I'm a Hall of Famer. But I think the Chiefs have a couple of decisions to make here. And I don't know if Patrick Mahomes restructures a deal here, give you more salary cap room. Mark Sanchez, a former quarterback, Fox analyst, will join us. We'll talk about that coming up. Yes, Seton. How much do you think the uh, possibility of a three-peat weighs in on a decision like this? It's probably not the same for every player, but... It is pretty unique to do. Uh, it feels like a, a quarterback wears that more than yes. any other player, but... I would say this wouldn't impact Chris Jones. You right. know, if you're Patrick Mahomes, it would. Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey. It feels like we judge offensive players more so for Super Bowl wins than we do defensive players. But Chris Jones is probably a Hall of Famer. And he, he's been living in the shadow of Aaron Donald, not any longer. But I would think that... He's going to be asking for twenty-five to thirty million dollars. What's he make now? Yeah, Paul. Chris Jones has made ninety million in his career, most of it in the past three seasons: twenty-one million, twenty-three million, twenty-two million. But he's a you know true free agent. Um, he's made ninety million dollars in eight seasons, so he's been relatively a bargain. He's also first team All Pro the last two seasons. Yeah, you might get a three-year ninety million dollar. He may make ninety over the next three years here. Um, but he's an impactful player, and, uh, you know, you can't trade him. You know, it's like Tyreek Hill, they were like, we're not going to pay you. I mean, it was a great deal for Kansas City because they got, what, a first-round draft pick, maybe a second, and then a couple, like a fourth and a sixth for Tyreek Hill. It was one of those ones where, like, the tier just keeps going. It's like we got a first, a second, a third, two fourths, a fifth, and three sixths. Yeah. So, oh, my God. And you didn't have to pay him $30 million, yeah. and you've won two Super Bowls without him. Chris Jones, I think it'd be a, you know, it's strange going to say a sound. It, it's tougher. It'd be tougher to win a Super Bowl without Chris Jones than Tyreek Hill. Right? That's scalding. Yeah, but it is. It, it would be tougher because Chris Jones is, he's more impactful, I think, just because you need him on the defense. They have weapons on offense and you have Patrick Mahomes to clean up, you know, spill an aisle six. So, all right. Uh, what other poll questions do we have today? Well, we have part two of that part poll question. Two. Okay. Uh, if you were Chris Jones, mm-hmm. dot, 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 mm-hmm. would you take the biggest contract offer or would you take less to stay with the Chiefs? I would take the biggest contract offer. 
You've you've already got your Hall of Fame career. Mm. Now it's about setting yourself up for the rest of your life. So I I would as much as I would love to be part of something special, you already have been part of something special. You know, the three Pete is the reason why you're gonna stay. Okay. Yeah, Marv. How much less would you be willing to take? <laughs> now, if it's like two or three million dollars, all right, but if it's half of it, there's no amount of Super Bowl. You can't sell the Super Bowl rings for what I could have made somewhere else. He's got to be looking for $30 million a year. He's got to look at T.J. Watt, Aaron Donald, uh, Nick Bosa, and say, I should be getting that. And I certainly understand him asking that. And this is it. 29, 30, 31, this is it. Now, he's probably going to want four years, even though you know I'd look at three-year window there. Yes, Paulie? I'll throw out a number just for the sake of argument. Let's say the Washington Commanders offer Chris Jones four years, $120 million guaranteed. And the uh, Chiefs offer four years, $100 million guaranteed. So you're taking a $20 million haircut. Which would you guys take? I would still take, I'd take the money. Over the relevancy of the Chiefs and the competitive chance to play. He's been relevant. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I think that it felt like there was acrimony in the offseason when he was trying to get paid, wasn't going to get paid, and... It, it was almost like Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. Like, hey, you want to seek a trade? You can seek a trade. And then all of a sudden, they eventually re-signed him, and he won the MVP. Chris Jones, you know, he has to walk back and go, okay, I'll take the deal. And then he could have been the Super Bowl MVP when you think about it. I mean, he's impactful. And the plays that he make, he's a big-time situational guy. He makes plays when you need him to. He's every bit what Mahomes is on defense I'm going to make a play that, and certainly the last two years, I'm making a big play at a big moment. I just don't know what Kansas City has to offer him and do they have to restructure deals to be able to get him in and just say, hey, how about staying here, a hometown discount, Chris? Come on in. Yeah, Paulie? I'm going to give you an example of someone who was in this Chris Jones situation a few years ago. Remember Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, the great safety? Mm -hmm. He was a chief for three years, went to a couple Super Bowls with them, and then he took a little bit more to go to the New Orleans Saints. I wonder if he regrets that decision because he's much less relevant in the NFL now, Tyron Matthews. Still a good player, but he's not relevant. And if he stayed with the Chiefs for a couple bucks less, he would have been. Yeah, but I don't think he's been, you know, the kind of player that maybe was with Kansas City. Correct. I mean, you're really, that's what you're kind of basing this on, that uh, how good do we think you're going to be if you leave here? Yes, Eaton. I'm reading an article here uh, in The Ringer posted two days ago, right. so the morning after the Super Bowl, right? Okay. That would be Monday morning. All right. The title is, The Chiefs have long quietly been emphasizing defense. Now it won them a Super Bowl, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Chris Jones isn't mentioned at all Ooh. in there, not once. It's all about their secondary. Safeties did this, they got mm -hmm. cornerbacks, they got all this, they got a lot of spags did. Look at the yeah. job they've done the last two years. <laughs> Amazing, oh my God, this is that. Chris Jones isn't even mentioned. Uh -oh. And that's the dude that's going to command the I'm just, I'm just saying there's he everybody can look at that and be like that dude's the most important guy but I don't know that it's going to work out that way. Certainly doesn't sound that but you know you got Sneed or and, this is just a poorly written article. <laughs> that could be the thing too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or this article just yeah. Uh Spag's <laughs> got a lot of love, man. A lot of love. You would have thought he was playing it was like, yeah, that's, it was Spags' defense. It wasn't Chris Jones's. defense. It was Spags' defense. He's going to dial something up there. Yeah, he completely overshadowed uh, some of those big plays that those defenders made. Yeah. Now you're hearing, uh, hey, Spags deserves to be a head coach. Once again, I will say this for the 478th millionth time. Not everybody is meant to be a head coach. Sometimes you're just really good at one thing. Bill Belichick's coaching tree proves that. Sometimes you're just a coordinator. But you have to try. You have to find out that you're not a head coach. But he's coach. already. I know that he's already done that. Yes, but. he's already proven that he wasn't a head coach. Defensive coordinator, awesome. Awesome. But now you're getting this, well, he deserves to be a head coach. Okay. All right. Hire him as a head coach. He's just a great defensive coordinator.